Risk Coach, a program designed to take the risk out of driving. I'm Jeff, your Risk Coach. Today's topic, attitude. How many of us have had that feeling that a lot of drivers out there need a serious attitude adjustment? Yeah, I know, I've been there. On the other hand, how many of us have actually considered that many times it's our attitude that needs to change? Well, I thought I would speak to a few of our fellow drivers to find out. I think you just have to let it go. Every day as you're driving, there's gonna be someone that cuts you off, they don't use a turn signal, they're gonna do something that's gonna possibly upset you, but it's your attitude that's gonna make a difference. There have been instances where I've done things that I regretted, and that's kind of what helped me get to the point of realizing like I can't take things personally, that it's not a big competition, we're not in a race, that it's a bunch of people together on the road, and that the best thing to do is just be calm, drive defensively, and to not you know, be aggressive toward another driver because you think they slighted you. So for me, um, when you have passengers, that matters. So definitely being safe on the road and having immense patience. So when you have other drivers cutting you off, you just have to stay calm and have that good attitude. And so we, I have passengers and I, I wanna make sure they get to point B safely. So how many of you out there who didn't have your hand up might like to reconsider? Well, truth is, we're all human and we all have emotions. Even when we've been driving for years, our emotions can get the best of us. Trick is to recognize that and keep them from increasing our risk of a collision. Let's find out what you already know about the importance of a good attitude behind the wheel. Your knowledge and skills are the biggest factors in whether or not you have a good attitude behind the wheel. True or false? False. Best practice. In truth, your knowledge and or driving experience have little influence over your attitude. What makes a good attitude is communicating and responding appropriately to other drivers. Interestingly, that also makes a defensive driver it's your attitude that will influence how other drivers respond to you. Many drivers with good skills have not so good attitudes. Your attitude will determine everything from your approach to following distance, to your speed, even your appetite for taking risks, such as checking your phone at a stoplight, or worse, drinking and driving. Your attitude will even influence your thinking on what constitutes a hazard. The good news is that although you don't have control over other drivers' attitudes or actions, you do have control over your own. It's essential to learn ways to manage your attitude before you get behind the wheel, as well as recognize and address any triggers while you're driving. How can you cultivate a good attitude as a driver? By making defensive driving habits part of your daily routine, and that starts before you even step in the driveway. Defensive driving habits include maintaining your car's safety, practicing self-care, planning your trip according to traffic and weather conditions, and making sure that you are fit to drive before you turn on the ignition. First, maintaining your vehicle. You might not think of your car's maintenance as a defensive driving habit, but think about it. Ignoring an engine light or your gas gauge is effectively putting yourself and other drivers in grave danger. Second, self-care. Everyone has a different way of coping with stress or emotionally charged moments in life whether it's listening to relaxing music, doing yoga, chatting with a friend, or taking a walk. Whatever works for you, as long as it's fairly harmless. In all seriousness, make sure you take care of yourself so you're not letting your daily stress get the best of you. And if it gets really bad, seek professional help. There's no shame in that. You owe it to yourself and your family. They want you to be safe on the road and happy at home. We hope this Risk Coach segment on attitude has helped you discover ways that you can lower your risk on the road and continue to be the best and safest driver you can be. Thanks for watching and safe driving. The following knowledge check contains 10 interactive questions about the topic. You need to get 100% to pass, but you'll have multiple chances for success. Good luck. Watch the following video and choose how to respond as the driver.
Should you A. Honk at the driver to let them know they're driving poorly. B. Slow down and establish a minimum two-second space cushion. C. Move to the passing lane and pass them. Or D. None of the above. The correct response is B. Slow down and establish a minimum two-second space cushion. Remember, you only have control over your own driving, not others. Defensive driving habits include maintaining your car's safety, taking care of yourself, planning your trip according to traffic and weather, or all of the above. All of the above.